So the wonderful folks at Blackview have sent me this, which is the Blackview Tab 50 Wi-Fi, and they've asked me to review it. I like the box, that's a great start. So we've got the tablet on the front there, and we've just got a little bit of information at the top there. So it's saying eight gigabytes of RAM, four plus four, gigabytes of RAM so I'm guessing it's got four gigabytes of hardware RAM and then you can extend the RAM using the storage which can be good uh, but it does depend on the speed of the storage so we will have a quick look into that so a bit of information on the back of the box so it's powered by Android 13 that's uh, good that's a very recent version 8 inch HD and IPS full angle display 4 gigabytes of RAM 128 gigabytes of ROM 5580 milliamp hour battery and a front camera 0.3 megapixels and a rear camera of 2 megapixels. Got the tablet itself here. Now I have reapplied this, that's why there's bubbles in there, but um, I will explain that in just a moment. Sent me the sky blue version of the Tab 50 Wi Fi, so quite a uh, pleasant device on the eye. And we'll have a look at what else we get in the box. USB-C charging cable, a power brick, and this is a 5 watt charger. doesn't have a UK plug on it, but that's not a problem. I've got plenty of those. This is just because they've sent me a review sample, and it's just not got the UK plug. We've got the manual, uh, which is just very basic information. tells you how to put in the SD card and what each of the items around the edge of the device are for. Let's take a closer look at the tablet itself. So we just slide this off and as I explained before I have reapplied this but what you get is a mask and then underneath there you have a screen protector on there which is just a plastic one uh, but it's better than nothing so that's good. Got the camera on the front there uh, we've got quite large bezels, but this is going to be more for media consumption. So it's actually fairly sensible to have them quite large there if you're watching media. So on the back there, I'm just covering the serial number. We've got a flash there and the camera there. So we'll have a check to see how good they are. On the side, we've got a lock button. I've got volume rocker. On the top, got my favourite, a headphone jack and I've got an SD card slot there. I'm guessing this isn't waterproof because you could literally get water in there but at this price I'm not surprised. USB-C charging port. Nothing on the other side. And then we have stereo speakers on the bottom. As I noted on the box it does run Android 13 and there's actually fairly recent security updates. So we've got a security update to the 5th of June 2023 and then we've got a Google Play system update to the 1st of August 2023. Some of those will continue to update. Uh, whether or not we'll get a huge new firmware for this device uh, remains to be seen. But as it stands at the moment, it is very up to date and very secure. In terms of the software installed, it's fairly stock. You've got a couple of games on there. So Call of Duty, I've added that afterwards. But you've got Candy Puzzle, Games, Gem Shot. And that's about it. So it's a fairly clean installation, just with a lot of the Google apps, that's all. Smooth when you're scrolling. That's quite nice to see. The screen is fairly bright. It does seem to be very bright and usable for media. Sometimes with tablets like this, at this price point, you have problems with viewing angles, but not the case here. Really good viewing angles. You can get it at a really, really tight angle, so that's good to see. So one of the great things you can do with this is split screen. So if you just um, go, to, so you're changing apps, and if you press at the top there, split top, so that puts YouTube at the top, and then you could potentially then have your browser at the bottom. After a few moments, as you can see, you can scroll, play a video, do it all at once. Mini car charger. So it says it's simple. Very handy for multitasking. So it does come with the uh, Blackview Doki OS, which is a bit of a Samsung-like overlay onto Android. And it's Android 13, as we already knew. So RAM, 
it is four gigabytes but you can change it so memory expansion goes up to four gigabytes storage is 128 gigabytes although that is expandable with the sd card slot display is 800 by 1280 so it's not quite full hd but it's still really good uh, very crisp for, for media as we'll see in a moment and something you can do in the developer options so uh, if you want to enable developer options there's loads of tutorials out there um, but I will uh, point you to one at some point in this video what you can actually do is enable freeform windows and force activities to be resizable what that enables you to do as an example here if you wanted the set in zap as a freeform window you can have that there you can move it around you can resize it it's like using a desktop it's uh, it's quite handy so you could actually plug in a mouse and start moving things around almost in the style of uh, samsung decks but not quite the same experience this doesn't have mhl out so if you wanted to put the display on a television or a monitor you're going to have to use wireless display and cast it the tablet is fairly heavy uh, weighing in at 355 grams but I think a lot of that is down to the fact that it's got quite a large battery in there uh, in terms of the cosmetics of the, the device I've just noticed after using it for a little while I've, I've chipped a bit of the paint off there I'm not sure how I did that but I think probably get a case uh, for this device uh, just to protect your investment SD card you can put up to one terabyte cards in there so that's pretty good very much expandable it's responsive the processor seems to handle Android 13 pretty well and it does have Wi-Fi 6 which is also pretty good it does it does have fairly slow RAM in the device it's got an LPDDR3 in there so that's not the the quickest in in the world <laughs> but It'll certainly do the job for media consumption and very basic gaming. It comes in two colours. It comes in this lovely sky blue here. And then it also can come in the space grey. The stereo speakers on what I would describe as the bottom are uh, very, very loud. So I'll just uh, show you a bit of video playback here. Just to give you an idea. Off's 24 volts, 3 amps max. That's a given, given that it runs off car electric or a battery or whatever it is. So pretty, pretty darned loud. Just going to have a look at a bit of Call of Duty Mobile. Now graphics quality is on low. It's fairly laggy, unfortunately. But it is working. Uh, it's sort of playable. As you can see, it does glitch a tiny little bit. It's sort of playable seem better though and now for a little bit of minecraft so again slight glitching just there it just froze for quite a while so this this really isn't a device designed for any sort of high level gaming but low level stuff casual games uh, will be absolutely fine on here i mean the experience isn't too bad playing minecraft you could adjust some of the settings to make it a bit smoother um but if you're just getting this for a young child who's not bothered about frames per second that kind of thing then it'll it'll do the job front facing camera is well to be quite honest with you pretty terrible um it'd be okay for video calls uh, just very very grainy uh, image there uh, we'll just try the rear facing camera and do the same thing so rear facing there we go i've got the flash on so that that is very rather bright um <laughs> to be looking at but i just thought i'd give you an idea of what footage had come out like using the flash so it's slightly better than the front facing camera but still not mind blowing but it's not really designed for making videos <laughs> The tablet handily also comes with Widevine Level 1, so things like Netflix, you're going to get your resulting stream in a high resolution, uh, so that's that's really good. The battery life is good, the 5580mAh battery does give you at least 7 to 8 hours of video playback uh, before you'll need to top it back up. 
So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you with the uh, Blackview Tab 50 Wi-Fi. So a couple of other bits I've not really covered in the video so far is uh, it is an all plastic build. Uh, the screen does capture a lot of fingerprints. I think you can just about see that. Um, when gaming for a number of hours, it does get quite warm around the camera area. Uh, on your hand here, but that's just because it's a plastic case and it's just passively cooled. This is definitely not for the budding photographers. It's also not for the budding hardcore gamers. But for casual games, it's okay. Uh, but the secret sauce with this thing is media. So the sound that it pumps out is fantastic. With it having access to the Google Play Store, you're going to have access to all sorts of streaming services. Uh, you're not going to be restricted like you are with an Amazon tablet. So would I recommend this? Yes, I would from the perspective of a little bit of multitasking, multimedia that I've already covered, and also the, the cheap price. It is good value for money. You get a lot there. Uh, the fact that it's got Android 13 is, uh, well, it's really good. It's not going to compete with any of the big players in the tablet market, so your Samsung Galaxy tablets, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's not supposed to. It is a budget device that is an alternative to things like the 8-inch Amazon Fire tablet. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you've got any questions, do put them in the comments, and I do try and get back to people fairly quickly. Um, other than that, if you're not yet subscribed, then please do so. If you like the video, click like. If you dislike the video, click dislike. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.